Hi guys, it's Sarah. Today me filming an update for my Project Pan Roulette. If you want to know about my Project Pan Roulette, just stay tuned. So first I'm going to start off with the Too Faced Sweetheart Perfect Flush Blush. It looks like this. Uh, you can't really tell I've made a lot of progress on it, but I have been using it actually quite a lot because it's in this project. I've been using it. It's a very nice shimmery blush. I wear it all the time. When my coral blush doesn't go with what I'm wearing, I will wear this blush. It's a very nice blush. I'll give you guys a swatch. Let's see if I can get a good swatch here, guys. It's a very nice shimmery blush. I really, really like it. And I would recommend it. I, I've been really trying to get some good progress on this blush. And I hope to have more progress next time. The other blush I had in this project is the Melon Drama Blush. I have been making good progress with that. As you can see, I have expanded the pan. I wear this blush whenever a coral blush goes with what I'm wearing. Today it didn't, so I didn't wear it, but I've been wearing it a lot. As you can see, I've expanded the pan, and next time I just hope to expand the pan more. I hope to use this blush up for the end of the year. I don't think that'll happen, but I'll keep trying, because as you can see, I have some really good progress on that blush. The bronzers I have in this project, the first one is the... Milani All Over Glow Bronzer in the shade Fake Tan. It does not look like I've used this literally at all, but I've been using it all the time. Like, I wore it today. You can't even tell that I've used it, but you can maybe tell it's a little bit. This bronzer just does not want to go. It doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to go. There is a swatch of it for you guys. It's slightly on the warmer tone side, slightly orange, but still works for my skin tone if I blend it out enough. It is a, it is a good bronzer. I just have had it for a while and like to use it up. I just can't seem to make progress on it. It just wants to not have progress, but we'll see. I'll keep trying. I might just have to roll it out and get rid of it, but we'll see. I'll let you know. The other bronzer in this project is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I actually do have a dip in this bronzer. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but I have a dip in this bronzer. I do think if I use it, I'll be able to hit pan on it. So we'll see if my goal for next update is to hit pan on this bronzer. I hope that that is something I can do by next update. That is the second swatch. It's slightly cooler than the Milani bronzer. I really like this bronzer. I just would like to hit pan on it because I have never hit pan on a bronzer. So that would be great. So I hope to hit pan on this by next time. Next, I have the Natural Nude Physicians Formula Highlighter by Physicians Formula. It looks like this. I use the top two rows as a highlighter, and I hope to hit pan on this. I've been using this so much lately, and I just can't seem to hit pan on it. Like, it just doesn't want to happen, but we'll see. As you can see, I have made some progress on it. I've really been trying hard to use this guy up. It's really hard, but... I'll let you know. Hopefully by next time I'll have pan on it. We'll see. Next is the lipstick in the shade 104 by Rimmel Kate Moss. Uh, just to be honest, I have not used this. I know if I use it a lot until next update, it'll be gone. I just gotta force myself to use it. I just have to force myself to use this shade. It's a very pretty shade, but I just gotta force myself to use it. I just have to force myself to use it. It is a gorgeous shade, it's just getting a little old. I just have to force myself to use it, and then it'll be all used up, and that'll be great. The other lipstick is in the shade Violet Shine by NYC, and I haven't used this shade much either. It's a very pretty lipstick shade, like, I love this shade. I just don't, I just haven't been wearing it lately. I've just got to make myself wear these two shades, I've just got to, because I've been wanting to experiment with other lipstick shades, but... I just really want to have these two shades gone from my collection, so I've just got to make myself use this shade because as you can see, the cap is like cracked, so I've just got to make myself use the, use my lipsticks that are in this project, and then once they're gone, I will feel uh, uh, accomplished, so that'll be great. Next thing is the Hello Flawless Press Powder from Benefit. This is what it looks like. As you can see, I have significant pan on this. I am trying to hit side pan on this side right here. I am almost there hitting side pan. That will be my goal for next time to have side pan. And then my goal from there will be to finish this guy up. I, it's been going strong. 
I have literally used this every day I wore, wore makeup since the last update. I wore it today, I wore it yesterday, the day before that, and so forth. I have worn this product so much. It doesn't want to go though, it's clinging on. I might want to repress it, but we'll see. I will just try and use this up. It is hanging on for dear life, but hopefully I can have it used up by next update. But for now, my, go my main goal is to just hit side pan. Next is the A Light BB Cream by, by Pacifica. This BB cream is like almost used up. I am so close to having it used up. Like I wore it all over my skin today. It is so close to being used up. Hopefully by next update it can be totally used up and I can check that off as used up. It is very close to being totally gone. The other BB cream I have in this project is the Rimmel London BB cream 9-in-1 Skin Perfecting Makeup. That still has a little bit more left in it, but hopefully I can get it used up soon. There's still a little more product left in here, but hopefully soon it can be totally used up. Next, I have the Brow Drama Pro Palette by, Milan, by Maybelline. Not Milani, Maybelline. I have not used this at all. Just to be honest, haven't used it. Hopefully I can make myself use it this month. I just have not really been interested in filling in my brows, but hopefully during this, between this update and next update, I can make myself use this because I would really like to hit pan on the powder and the highlight, but we'll see. Hopefully I can make myself use this because I have not used it, and I would like to get some more progress on the wax and get that used up because I have other brow, brow products I would like to use, but I just have not really felt like filling in my brows. I don't really know why. And next is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour. I didn't really have a specific goal for this. It was just to get more use out of it. And I did that. I used it a fair number of times. A few times. I really like this shade and that shade. That one's a little too dark. But it's a nice palette. I should keep using it. I, use it, I like to use it on the days I cream contour. So hopefully I can just continue to use this. I don't have any specific goals for this palette. My goal is just to get more use out of it. And then the last product in pro product in this project is the um is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi highlighters. I only use this a handful of times, not very many times. They're hanging around. My goal is just to use it more. I don't really want to hit pan on them cuz I don't think that's a realistic goal, but if I could, that would be great. My goal for this month is just to use those highlighters more than I norm already am, so hopefully I can just use those more than I already am, and yeah, my goal for those is just to use them more than I already am. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any other videos you'd like me to film, and please hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time, bye!